Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Wednesday, October 8th, 2014, and this is your update on the Vortex Field Permanent Magnet Motor. So the magnets arrived today from KJ Magnetics and there are 12 of them. They are magnetized across their width and as you can see in this close-up right here I've got them arranged in little V-shapes. Uh, they are held in this position with some little wedges of acrylic plastic that I cut on the bandsaw earlier. It's just hot glued into place and um, the rest of the assembly since the last video I put together is complete so I now have a test fixture that I can do do some experimentation with. Um, unfortunately as you can tell I do have a sticky spot as, a, as I pass each magnet and you might think that means that I would be discouraged. Very little could be farther from the truth because one of the things that I did find out uh, by adjusting the timing of my gears, lifting it up off the spindle, moving it one tooth, setting it back down, checking the checking the resistance that I get when I when I give it a little spin, uh, and going through the full cycle, uh, I found a spot on the on the timing where I get uh, a certain amount of deceleration when I spin it in one direction. Okay and if I spin it in the opposite direction the same with the same amount of force there's counterclockwise that's clockwise counterclockwise clockwise very very definite imbalance I'm giving it an equal amount of starting force each time. So what I've been able to show for sure is that I've been able to, with the timing of the, of the uh, stator magnet relative to the rotor magnets, I have been able to show an imbalance, a continuous flowing imbalance. There is more resistance in one direction than there is in the other direction. If this thing really didn't work at all, I would have equal forces in both directions and it would come to a stop and that would be the end of the experiment. But I've got about twice as much resistance in one direction as I do in the opposite direction. And if I put a weight on top of the cylinder to act as a flywheel, I can actually measure the spin down time even more accurately. Uh, but yeah, I'm encouraged and uh, I've got some more things to try. There's uh, a stainless steel pedestal or a stainless steel holder that I'm going to use on one of the stator magnets instead of this uh, mild steel so that uh, I don't get any effect on the um, on the magnetic flux of the stator magnet. Um, I've got some iron pieces that I'm going to put between the uh, between the magnet assemblies to cancel out the um, the poles, um, bunch of there's there's a number of things that I'm going to try here, and uh, I'm I'm confident that one of them is going to get me closer to my goal, and uh, of course the goal is acceleration instead of deceleration, but I'm working on it, I am working on it. Thank you for watching. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And peace, everyone.
I've been able to show that I've been that <laughs> again. All right, let's try this again. Hey, I was even recording. Look at that. <laughs>